Welcome. Let's take a look at some examples where we can use size, size, size similarity theorem. In this example, we want to show that we have similar triangles. And once we identify that they're similar, we want to state their scale factor. When we take a look at the given information, notice that we have the length of all sides of both triangles. When you have the situation, then we want to think about size, size, size similarity theorem. We need to be organized with how we look into the proportions of the sides of these triangles. We're going to be comparing the smallest side on the left triangle with the smallest side on the right triangle. We're going to be comparing the largest side of the left triangle with the largest side of the right triangle. And we're going to be comparing the middle side on the left triangle with the middle side on the right triangle. The side that is not the largest or the smallest, the one that is in the middle. So now let's identify those proportions. The smallest side on the left triangle is PQ with the length of 8, and the smallest side on the right triangle is BC with the length of 4. So let's find this proportion by doing PQ divided by BC. Eight, that's 8 over 4, which is 2. Now let's compare the largest side. On the left, the largest is PR with the length of 12, and on the right, the largest is AB with the length of 6. So to find the proportion, Let's do PR divided by AB. That will give us 12 over 6, which is 2. Now let's compare the middle sides, which in this case, on the left is QR with 10, and on the right is AC with 5, which it will give us 10 over 5, which is 2. So notice that all proportions have a value of 2. That's implying that all sides are proportionally to each other. Therefore, by side, 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 we can claim that these two triangles are similar. And the scale factor that they have, it's a value of 2. Notice that we were creating our proportions, all the numerators, they came from the same triangle, and all the denominators in our proportions, they came from the same triangle. So there has to be order in our comparison. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we want to see if we have two similar triangles and we want to explain our conclusion. When looking at the givens, notice that we have the measurement for all sides of both triangles. Then this is a good indicator that we want to think about side, side, side similarity theorem. When we are setting up our proportions, we're going to be comparing the smallest sides, the longest sides, and the middle sides. The smallest side on the left-hand side is AB with the length of 6, and the smallest on the right-hand side is EG with the length of 4. So we can do AB divided by EG. That would be 6 over 4, which is 3 halves. Now let's compare the middle side for both of them. The middle side on the left is BC with 9, and the middle on the right triangle is FE with 6. Let's set up our proportion. That would be BC divided by FE, which is 9 over 6, which is 3 halves as well. Let's find the proportions of the longer size. On the left triangle, that will be AC with 12, and on the right triangle, that will be FG with 8. That will give us 12 over 8, which is still equals to 3 halves. Notice that all sides have the same proportion. Then by side, side, side similarity theorem, we can claim that these two triangles are similar to each other. And we can go one step further and claim that the scale factor is to the value of 3 over 2. Notice that all numerators, they come from the same triangle, the triangle on the left, 
and all denominators come from the same triangle, the triangle on the right. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.